Hi, it's Cole here for Cole Pro, and uh, I'd like to show you how to animate the writing of a Chinese character or kanji in Japanese using Adobe After Effects. Hopefully, we'll end up with something a bit like this as it animates onto the canvas. Right, so let's um, head over to the project panel. I've already got a bunch of um, Illustrator files which I'm, use, I'm using Illustrator because uh, there seems to be a greater choice of fonts available. So if I find this Nucka file, I'm going to drag this onto the new comp button. And there it is. So let's uh, zoom in a bit and reposition a little bit. There you go. So the principle here is that we want to create a stroke and use that stroke to animate a mask which is slowly going to reveal the underlying character. So I'm going to start off with a an effect. So if the effect then so I right clicked on the layer effect then um, generate then stroke effect generate stroke and now you can see that uh, we've got this um, properties panel opened up so we want to click all masks here because we want to create a mask uh, rather than an actual um, stroke. And uh, so the first thing to do is to start creating the stroke using the pen tool. So click that like that. And then let's start like this. Um, the reason for this zigzagging you'll see in a moment. and come down to the object down here, open the mask, we've got we created one mask. If we click above on the mask container, uh, we can create a new mask as we start this next stroke along. So we're gonna start here. Let's have lots of nodes. Okay, so the mask is too thin to cover the um, strokes of the character, so we need to increase the brush size. So let's take this up a bit. Okay. So if we take this too far, it's going to obscure the um, underlining, underlying stroke. So basically, the finished product will involve having a paint style of revealing the original image. So that's 100%. We've got all the way through the drawing of the mask up to the end, which is 100%. But if we start at the beginning, so this let's uh, replicate the way the animation would work by increasing the um, end, the mask, the the end percent for the mask. Let's come down here like this, like this. Okay, so you can see immediately the problem here is that um, this mask is exposing the um, the central stroke of this uh, this character, which means the brush size is too large. So we need to bring that down. Let's bring that down, not too far, about there. So if we go back to the original image, we can see that there's a few areas where the mask hasn't properly covered the um, the, ca the strokes of the kanji. So uh, to be able to see a bit easier we could always change the the um, color to something that's going to stand out against both the background and the the checkerboard background as well as the uh, the strokes of the character. So um, now we need to come over to the selection tool so we can move these um, nodes around a little bit to make sure we're all covered. Um, so even with it like that, it looks like the um, it looks like the left hand side of this stroke is a little bit um, fatter. So let's move these around a bit to make sure it's all covered properly, like that. Now we've run out of um, nodes, so let's um, add a few more by coming up to the pen tool and add, added some vertexes. Boom, 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 boom. Vertexes, nodes, 
potato potato um, so let's go back to over here and we want to make sure these are all nicely covering up the underlying character still need a few more so let's add a few of these boom 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 back over here and that looks about okay bring that down a little bit and go the brush size up a tiny bit see how that looks so we can check again on the original image does that look okay yeah it kind of does back over here so over here we got we can see we got some um, uh, which the uh, mask isn't quite covering the this side of the stroke so let's bunch these up a bit more looks about right so um, that's the first downstroke the first across stroke now we want to do the uh, this big fat bit over here on the right so let's go back to the masks and create a, yet another mask with our normal vertex tool so if you want you can do some with the pen tool so let's start down here Okay, so, so this is the first, second, now we want to do the third stroke which needs to start under here on the left. Click back on the masks container. Okay, that's pretty close. And uh, reveal the original. That looks okay. And now finally we want to do the downstroke. So back on the mask container again. Uh, make sure we've got our pen tool selected. Okay, that looks like the character's pretty much covered, so let's give that a whirl. So we want to um, swap the paint style to reveal original image. There it is. And uh, let's set some keyframes. So we want to start the animation where we're only zero way through the animation. So let's click that there, and then let's move the the time current time marker down to two seconds and let's change that up to uh, 100 okay so let's see how that looks because of the way I've drawn the um, uh, vert vertices onto the uh, the image it almost looks like 
it's being painted with a brush. So you could almost claim that that's, um, that's deliberate. So this is quite a tricky character to start off with because the um, the width of the second and and the third um, strokes are so thin compared to this one that goes down the middle. If you had a if you started from a character where the um, the widths were all um, widths and heights were all constant, then it would be much easier. You could you could then just um, uh, have one uh, brush size that worked uh, for the whole thing. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.